Princess Mion dropping it down. You know why? She was dropping down to sit on that throne. Hey, what's up, Lynx? Uh, just doing the album reaction to G Idol 2. Uh, I wanted to do this uh, yesterday, but wasn't able to. So doing it this morning. Um, really liked Super Lady. Check out my reaction to that. Um, doing the performance video uh, since I hadn't done that yet and then the rest will be audio tracks so let's get into it. I said in my reaction I really wanted to see the full choreography because I liked what I was seeing. Yo, even this is epic. Ooh, look at them. Ooh. Hey. Okay, walk. Yeah, they remix it? This is dope. Oh, that was just the coolest intro ever. Okay. I do like that. Hey. Oh, like that. Yo, look at her. Soyeon looks amazing. Hey. Diva. Oh, I like that little heel. Okay. Okay, hips. Don't look at me like that, Shua. Don't look at me like that, Yuki. Shoot. All right, we're gonna stop looking at the camera. It's making me flustered. Hey! Princess Mion dropping it down. You know why? She was dropping down to sit on that throne. Hey. Beautiful. Yo, I love that part. Hey. You know, we got to do it again. I don't care. Gotta be in the running for like the hardest snippet of a song <laughs> 2024. Shot right to the top. We came to take real. Hey, yo, I love this diva version of them. Hey. Yo, this is gonna kill live. Yeah, the steps. Hey. Hey. I love that movie. Call me. Uh, yeah, super, super dope. I wanted to see that um, because I figured that um, I wanted to see the choreography and I figured that 
because of the way that the music video was that this was something that they would do really really awesome live um now i like the way this was constructed with the fire and the lights and the angles and the background dancers and the all that stuff that this is this is what i would hope it's like live um because this would absolutely kill uh very very cool now that we have the lyrics i saw some of the lyrics after i did my reaction unfortunately they weren't available and i don't have the language skills but um i do just want to shout out that i love the lyrics um i love that the message obviously you can get it from super lady and like some of the outfits and the attitude but the specifics about you know talking about men and talking about getting out of the way and i think at one point um neon says something about uh, even if my lips lipstick is smudged um i'm still stronger than you or i'm still stronger than a man or something like that like i love that idea um i i Uki at one point says something about like men's pretense and just i love that attitude i love that especially with all the hate that i know that they've been getting um, since I started following them, uh, and I know they've been around for years before that, so I know it's not new for them. Uh, and I really like that they came out with this song where they're like, fuck you, uh, this is what we're doing. It was very clear from the music video that that was the attitude, but after reading the lyrics, um, I like it a lot. I also saw some things, people saying the translations of the lyrics. I don't know if people are reading into it, but saying that they were shouting out other girl groups um with some of the stuff that they said like uh baddie which is the song i reacted to by ive and um savage which i guess is a song by espo which is a group i'm not familiar with but that i like and then i think Les seraphim also so um i thought that was really really cool i wanted to shout that out and uh, i just really like the attitude i like the confidence i like the swagger what gietl does is they do things that the industry does like that the industry does want but they make it theirs and that's the genius of soyan i think um and the other members I know have writing credits for a lot of these songs, so it's not just Soyan, but obviously she's a leader. She gets a lot of the production and writing credits, so I'm going to shout her out specifically. But I think it's really, really cool that they do that because they could just totally do away, not do the diva thing, not do the epic scale thing, not do the idol thing. They could just do the message and being strong and independent and and not fitting into any mold or whatever but the fact they take some parts of the mold and create their own mold i think is is what really elevates g idol to a point where they just have to be celebrated i think uh and i'm saying this as a new fan obviously there are people who have been doing this for a long time but as a new fan um as you know a, a cis straight male fan uh when i know a lot of people who might fit similar demographics are threatened or upset by g idol um i feel like it's our job as fans to make it clear that uh we definitely do respect that and appreciate that and i think that's really really cool and should be celebrated um and not that g idol cares because they clearly don't but uh they should not worry and the fans should not worry neverland should not worry about the fact that uh strong independent creative women boss ladies uh scare and threaten the little boys inside of some men uh, and soyan clearly doesn't give half a shit about that she's doing it uh and maybe she does give a shit because she's she she turns it up to 11 she's like oh this upset you let me do some more uh which i think is even better so um shout out to her lots of appreciation for that i think that's uh super super great uh and i love this song i like this video maybe one day i can see them do this live i think that would be really cool uh and that's pretty much all i have to say about super lady let me know in the comments if there's anything else uh that you think i missed maybe in the lyrics or in the performance or whatever uh and we'll move on to the next one next up is revenge uh disclaimer for these lyric videos i know sometimes the lyrics are not right the the um description of who's singing is not always right so just let me know i just try to go for the ones that have the most views because i hope that means that uh they're the most accurate but we'll see let's get into it Hey. Love an ad lib, okay. Quality of her voice, too. I love her tone. Hey. Yeah. Shua? Okay. I like that. Hey, princess. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 
from the cigarette i don't know what it is i mean i love that i love her her tone also the instrumental reminds me of something and i cannot think of what it is but it's definitely something let me know in the comments uh, it's not gonna come to me i'll just let it play but love the the build up of me on doing what she does and then mini with her wonderful beautiful tone and then going into uki doing that with that with the instrumental changing up breaking down that is very nice composition <laughs> Everything's so short. Uh, so, what I really like, A, I love the attitude of this. If you know, I say this in every like song I, I enjoy, it seems to be. I love the attitude. I love the swagger. I love that stuff. Uh, I like what this was about. This was an interesting concept. I like the attitude. I like the confidence. I like the instrumental. I really like the, the way that they took the arrangement where they uh, had a, a Mion part and then Mini building us up into Yuki doing her thing, or Uki, sorry. I, it's hard, so hard to ignore the why. Um, but then the second time around, they switch it up a little bit and they have uh, Mini do what Mion did and then they had Mi, uh, Uki do what Mini did and then they had Mion do what Uki did. Uh, and the fact that they could do that shows their talent and their range it also does this really nice thing where you still have the normal structure of a song where you have to have you know your bridge and your hook and, and you have to repeat them but having different people do different parts lets you have the same structure same lyrics but a different texture a different sound to keep it interesting i don't think you need to do that to be honest in a minute in a, a two and a half minute song um, but if it was a longer song, that would be a really cool way to keep something from feeling repetitive if you were repeating it a lot. This they did because they could, I think. Uh, what I will say is that I think the first arrangement I preferred because it let Mion do, it, I think, what she is really good at delivering. And then it let Minnie do something that really uh, was elevated by her tone. And then it let Uki do the, the part with the heavier um, part of the instrumental uh, that really kind of felt to me much more a lot punchier. Um, and the second time around, it was still good, but I think I liked the way it sounded the first time around. I just feel like hearing Uki do that part, Minnie do that part, me undo that part. It was just more pleasing to my ears. But the second time was not bad at all. And if I hadn't heard the first one, I would have had no nothing to say about the second one. I just really, really liked the way that they had that arranged the first time around. But um, really, really like that. They did a lot of cool stuff, cool instrumental, a lot of cool tones, a lot of cool vocal textures. And then, of course, we're going to go right here. Uh, and we're going to talk about Soyon A. 
doing a slow flow uh, because it fit, uh, because it made sense, uh, and also changing up her flow halfway through. But also, I think that line about, uh, well, we'll just play. <laughs> Starts off kind of, uh, you know, kind of down, maybe a little depressed. But then she says, I can't give up. And I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be inspirational. It's like, I'm not giving up. You can't hold me down. And it kind of is. But it's not, I can't quit because I owe it to myself. Or I can't quit because I know I'll make it through. It's, I can't quit because your pain, <laughs> your pain is what I'm after. Uh, and I love that. That is fucking hard. I love that. I love her. Then we change up the flow a little bit. Do something a little dancing on the beat a little bit. And then it leads nicely. So what I will say about having the second arrangement is that Soyeon rapping and then going into the way that Mion sang the first way might not flow in transition quite as well as doing it and having her flow into uh, Minnie's tone. Uh, because I think what Soyeon is really, really good at is arranging so that the way that their voices and deliveries and flows transition into the next one is all part of her vision so um when i say that i like the first arrangement more i do as an isolated thing but i also understand at least i think i understand that the reason she arranged it this way is that a she can and why not it's her show uh but also they're able to. It doesn't sound bad by any stretch. Uh, and I think that Soyeon rapping into Minnie's tone um, might be a nicer, more seamless kind of transition than it could have otherwise been. So even if you take it isolated, I have my preferences. I think that the way that the song is, I wouldn't actually change it uh, because I do think that it flows really nicely. And just from what I have seen from G Idol, which is limited, I have seen that I think Soyeon has a really, really strong attention to detail, and I think she's very intentional with everything she does, and it's not just does this sound good, it's does this sound good in the way that I want it to sound, um, because she's also a producer and a writer. So um, I'm not second guessing, I'm not saying I wish it was a different way, I'm just saying if you isolate those, I will have a preference, but the way that it's constructed makes perfect sense. So. I really like that. Uh, I thought that was super cool. I like the attitude. I like the whole concept um, of someone had wronged them or whatever, and you know they're out for the revenge, and they get it. Uh, rooting for them, obviously. I thought that was super cool. Let's see what's next. All right, here we go with Doll. I'm not your door. Hey. No need to talk. Okay. You never know what you have done before. I want you fall. I hope you crawl. Ni gotcha no my tone and I don't love no more. Talk shit, sure. Tell him. I love this song already. Look at the blah blah, make a pop pop. That's a lie lie, not your prime time. Make a pet to more than my that hasn't changed. No surprise. Do you blah blah? Hey. Tell him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. Hey. 
Again, I would like I would like a three minute song, three and a half minutes, but I know I'm greedy. Um, I realize I spent too much time talking about the other ones, so I'm gonna try to keep these a little shorter. Um, I like this; it still carries that same tone, it still carries that same sort of theme and concept um, about being independent, being your own person. Um, they don't say men specifically, so I think that this I think this could work any relationship with a woman with a man non-binary but not being your doll i'm not your plaything. i'm not your toy i'm not a possession uh i'm a person uh i love that i think that's very cool it's unfortunately very timely it's still important to be saying these kinds of things uh you would hope that it wasn't but it is uh and the instrumental is very cool i like that they have a little bit of the almost um not a not nursery rhyme, but there's like a little bit of that like lightness that that sort of like childhood kind of tune to it. I, I'm very tired. I cannot think of the right words today, but um, that juxtaposed with the uh, with the message and with the tone and with the instrumental uh, and then with obviously the lyrics about dolls and about toys and playthings. I think that's very cool. It's obviously an allegory. It's a oh, big fan of that. Let's see what's next. Okay. That was cool. That was different. That was definitely a more of like an easy listening sort of vibe. 
Um, it, it was pretty. It sounded prettier. Uh, I like the way that Mion, uh, specifically the standouts. I like the way that Mion sort of danced on the on the melody a little bit with her vocals, and I liked Minnie's rap a lot. Uh, I liked that Shua got a little bit of uh, a little bit of screen time, not really a line line time. I don't know. Um, that definitely was really cool. Uh, yeah, I like that sound. I like the message too. I like this one was a little more of like. The other songs have all been either about, you know, we had Revenge, we had I'm Not Your Doll, we had Super Lady was, you know, kind of confident, boisterous, uh, aggressive, um, you know, stronger kind of sounds and stuff like that. This was a nice change up from that. Um, you couldn't have a whole, I mean, you could have a whole album of that, but like they have more range and more to say than that. So um, I thought that was really cool. I appreciated that for sure. Um, that was definitely a different kind of sound. Again, showing their range, showing their um, their ability to say different kinds of things different ways. Uh, I was into it. Let's see what's next. What else? Is this over? It was the longest song, was it? Um, I like they use uh, Shua to like uh, provide the the punctuation on, on each of the parts of the songs, um, and she also she she made the most of it. It seemed like pretty limited 
uh, line distribution, I guess, for her. But um, this was really catchy. This was a little bit more so far. This was a little bit more of uh, a pop kind of sound. This was uh, a little more of something that I would have heard elsewhere. But again, they do these things with their unique tones, with their unique flavor, with their uh, slightly different take on it that um, it keeps it from feeling like I have actually heard it before. And it's definitely catchy. Uh, so I definitely like that. That was very cool. I like that these last two songs have had more of like a, a light sort of um, an airiness and like an optimism to them, which I think is really nice. And also, you know, it's good to have songs about I don't need you and I'm independent and I'm strong and revenge and all that stuff. But it's also nice to see, um, you know, a little bit of happiness, and a little bit of joy, a little bit of love, because uh, you need this to have the other stuff. You can't be hurt um, if you don't love the person first. And, uh, you know, you can't you can't be vulnerable enough to love someone and be happy without putting the risk out there uh, of being unhappy and of being hurt. So I think it's good to have all of that represented and of course uh, Giettel has the range and the talent um, and the creativity to give us all of those different things on the same album uh, so that was very cool was different that sounded um that sounded kind of like uh uh like an uh either a theme song or or like an outro song or something like that of uh from like an anime or something like that the, not a whole thing but there are definitely certain parts that just that i don't know how to describe the i guess the melody maybe or the cadence just it kind of reminded me of that so um that was cool for that effect uh it was so different um i like that that was Shua's song, though. Um, my girl came out spitting uh, after a couple of songs where it seemed like she didn't really have that big of a part. She took over that one, which I, I thought was really, really dope. Um, I also like that they all added a little flair to that, especially Mion. Um, she always adds a little something to the ends of some notes and stuff that just takes it somewhere special, just 
that's my princess. Uh, so really like that. Um, I like the anime vibe. I don't know if other people are going to think that that's like crazy or something, but, um, it's, and again, I'm not saying the whole song It's just certain parts just sounded like something I feel like I would hear in, uh, either a theme song or like a credit song, um, for an anime. And, uh, I, I enjoy that. So that, that was a little nostalgia for me, um, just to kind of connect that in my brain a little, but, um, props to Shua for sure for coming out like that. I thought that was really dope. Let's see what's next. <laughs> I just wanna kiss and go, I hey. just wanna feel the moon, yeah okay. Don't you know I rock, I'ma hit the brand new diamonds Rocking like a star, do you see my limit at night, yeah No fingers with the rings, like could be bright, yeah Then we on Dallas and I work it out Switch your time, while it's swerving now oh, shit. Just rapping high, we got your homies down We're hey. gonna swerve it now, we're gonna swerve it now I'm getting Watch gangster. my freaking crew Stay and give a second chance It's true Flop on your flop Hey, you move Mommy said I need to check the bank And twerking are rolly 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 <laughs> My back haunted 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 on my swag I just Wanna Freaking love with you I just wanna rock I just wanna love with you Rolly 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 in my blood Honey these women um that was that was cool i'm not usually a fan of like it sounded like there was like a little bit of uh maybe like an auto maybe not auto tune but like a little bit of a like a filter over that a little bit but love that tone i love the the ratchet kind of like we're talking about money we're talking about our crew we're talking about getting paid we're talking about rolling up on people i just <laughs> there's nothing they won't do um i love that ironically though um, I think Neon stole that one for me, despite the fact that, obviously, I come at all of this from being a rap and metal fan, but in this in this song, Neon, I love the way that she delivered that. I like the way that Minnie's parts had a really nice cadence to it, um, but that was really dope. I liked that a lot. That was one... I always look for one song out of an album that I want to just try not listening to on my headphones. I want to get in the car and I want to listen to with the bass up and bother people around me with the windows down. This is that one. Uh, I'm going to come up with a name for that. So when I do album reactions, I can certify it as this is the one I'm going to bother people with. Um, but this is definitely it. Uh, I like that a lot. I thought that was really, it was fun. That was cool. Sounded dope. I like the instrumental. 
I love the way that they added their flavor once again. Um, obviously, Soyon's the rapper, but they, um, you know, Mini and Uki and Shua, clearly after that last song, I'm not going to question Shua rapping. Um, also in Wife, she did great. Uh, and then Mion, who I also know rapped really, really well in, in Wife. Um, I love the way that she she brought her her element to this um, to break it up, to give it that 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 flow and that melody uh, that, that really elevates it. Again, just they find a way to do something something and then add something to it that just makes it more uh it just makes it different it just brings it up a step uh so i really like that i can't wait to blast that uh and i think that that's pretty much it dope so that was a really cool album i really enjoyed that i don't really like ranking albums within minutes of me hearing all of the songs but i do think that I really, really liked Revenge. I really liked Doll. Uh, Vision was super, super cool because of how it changed the flow of the album and broke it up with this light, beautiful kind of uh, vibe. Seven Days with the optimism, that brought something really nice. Fate also was was a little bit of a different tempo. It also had that kind of nostalgic feeling of, at least sounding to me, I hope nobody's going to like take it the wrong way or be offended or whatever, but sounded to me like the kind of songs that I would hear sometimes in the intros or outros of animes. Uh, and then Roly obviously, was probably the most in line with the kind of stuff that I might listen to typically before getting into all of this uh but i think that revenge might have been my favorite i really liked revenge i really liked doll vision was really cool um i don't know i feel like that that first chunk of the album was just really really dope uh and then roly was a lot of fun and then of course remembering wife uh wife i loved a lot you can check out my reaction to wife with my reaction to a super lady uh but yeah that's that's kind of where i'm at i'm not going to do a ranking of like one through whatever but i encourage you in the comments please do rank them let me know especially if unlike me You've heard these. I've only heard. I've heard Super Lady and Wife multiple times, but I've only heard these each once. Uh, so if you have heard them all, you have other ideas. Please let me know in the comments what your ranking is. Let's talk about it. Uh, I do think that uh, Revenge, uh, Doll, Vision might be at the top there. And then I thought that Seven Days was really sweet, and and I love. I thought Fate made me feel some good things. Rolly was a lot of fun. Wife is a really good time. Uh, Super Lady was that punch that you needed to kind of wake everybody up and tell everybody, hey, we're here. Now listen to all this. So perfectly constructed. I love the order of the songs. Uh, let me know how you feel specifically. Uh, coming up next, I do have Is This Bad Bitch number um, that I recorded before this dropped. Um, spoiler, I had fun. Uh, so that I'm going to be dropping soon. I'm also going to do, uh, I think I'm going to do Lion, and then Oh My God, and then The Killing Voice. So that's my kind of agenda for g Idol. So let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about all that. And until next time, stay fresh.